unlearning, letting go, getting into my flow, and being present, trying to be present, releasing dreams of the past and creating more intentional ones. I've had two kids in less than two years, and I've changed. There has been so many things that have gone divinely right and things that I have wanted for myself that have gone completely wrong and in these last few months in these last two years as I've taken a huge step back from social media I'm becoming and also still having a evolving purpose one of the biggest lessons I've learned is building a team, um, being around community, being around the village. And before motherhood, I might have said that, but I never really practice it daily. Both of my beautiful children have taught me different lessons. My firstborn teaching me discipline, teaching me following through as well as just having a drive and a passion. My second born is teaching me femininity and flow and asking for help and openly accepting help and receiving help. And with these two souls that have chose me as a mother, I have been divinely led to change a lot of my life and let a lot of my old life go. And I think sometimes in motherhood, when people say the old you, dies you can mourn it before it even happens because you're looking at your life and you think it's perfect and you think it has so much purpose and you don't think that a lot of the things that you want and desire for yourself are not rooted in ego and when you're chosen to become a mother things change rapidly and you look at your dreams and your goals and your bucket list and Sometimes they don't feel as intentional and deep. And I know that my babies came to me at the right time, in the right space to teach me about things in myself that I definitely didn't see. It doesn't have everything to do with motherhood. Um, before being a mother, I was a one woman show. I did everything on my own. Um, I hardly asked for help and I didn't know how to receive help. I didn't really know how to receive. I didn't know how to be taken care of. I didn't know what it was to, to be truly present. discipline and here I am now with a team of three four people much more regimented much more not attached to a certain outcome because I definitely 
had um, a particular way I like to do things and some days things just don't go my way and when I release and I'm present, I can find the beauty in the day. Outside of motherhood itself, I've learned, and I'm still learning, because here it is, May, June, or actually June, and I still have not posted on social media. I feel like I have so much to share, and I want to create more community amongst women, um, more than ever, yet I am paralyzed by the perfect moment and the perfect time and the perfect opportunity to do things and that's a lesson that I'm still currently learning and as I'm sitting here recording this video, just thinking of all the spaces and places and emotions that I've been in, I no longer want to be paralyzed by the perfect time, the perfect moment, the perfect concept and I want to be in my flow. I want to share, I want to create communities, I want to create environments where people can get together and do what they love and be passionate and we can raise our babies, we can feed them great food, we can live off the land. I just can't believe I'm a mom and now in this next phase that you guys will be on the journey with me it's so different I look at my life on YouTube I think I posted my first video in September of 2015 and one thing I love 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 about my audience my squad my internet homegirls like I've gone through so many phases through hair and fashion and wholesaling and learning about my body and learning about health and wellness and diet and fitness and now I'm here in motherhood and I'm just ready to show you guys what I've been working on for the last year, year and a half as I've moved um, to different states and different homes and grown and been pregnant twice, had two natural home births, unmedicated, unassisted, delivered by the greatest partner I could ever have, um, the greatest husband I could ever have. I just want to share it all with you and hopefully inspire and teach some of the things that I've been learning because the life that I'm creating and the life that I'm learning to flow into is beautiful and it's meant to be shared. I hope you enjoy watching and I hope you enjoy creating this community with me.